is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video and happy easter to everybody out there today as you guys know it is easter sunday when this video is posted so i figured why not give us an easter theme here today guys with this massive egg you see my hand right here this is a massive egg guys i got this from my beautiful amazing incredible wife last year on easter she filled up all of my easter presents we do like little gifts on easter obviously and um she hooked me up with this awesome pink egg it has mdt on it. it's got the zebra print and and I love it so much and what I do with this egg is I actually keep it in the closet and I put every single fan mail letter that comes to me in the mail I take it and I put it inside the egg so that is every single piece of fan mail that we've ever received here on MDT and I love every single one of you that has ever sent me one of those if you guys would like to send me a letter or any fan mail or anything like that then uh, you guys have the opportunity to do so but anyways guys the most important thing about Easter guys is to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ if you guys are not believers or you are believers I hope you have a blessed Easter and a blessed Sunday anyways and I hope you guys enjoy your time whether you're just chilling on the couch whether you're going out with family whether you're hunting eggs or trying to kill the Easter bunny I hope you have a fantastic day and today's video we're going to crack open this egg and we're going to reveal a bunch of my favorite customs that uh, I have just accumulated over the years I wanted to try and put together all of my favorite customs into like a sort of Eastery video and today is the birth of that video including inside here guys I had to you know give it a little special feel so there is a mystery custom inside the giant egg there's a mystery custom in here you know when you you go easter egg hunting on easter sunday and you you, you were a little kid and you go running out in the yard and you pop them open you got candy you got little nickels you got uh, even like me and my family we used to do like this golden egg deal where you would get like 10 bucks up to 20 bucks or whatever it was like a little special deal that we would do at my grandparents house so this is very exciting and you guys are going to get the little surprise egg here with the MDT egg. It's full of custom figures and I'm going to crack it open right now and you guys are going to be, and the new custom figure is going to be unveiled to you guys. So let's go ahead and crack open this egg. It's kind of funny I say crack open when I'm usually talking about a box, but this is legitimately an egg. So that's 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 pretty funny, right? Please love me. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to crack it. I just, I just don't want to mess anything up. Oh, okay. So we got the egg cracked and we're going to open it up here. And the, can you guys tell what the custom is? Can you tell what the custom is, guys? Bro. It is this custom Matthew Riddle. Yes, ma'am. I did a custom Matt Riddle. I've worked on this last night, and I completed it pretty much. The only thing I have to do is take off Seth Rollins' tattoo in the middle of the back there. But uh, it's, it's a very easy formula, and maybe I'll do a video on how to make a Matt Riddle figure later on. But I like this figure a lot. I got uh, some cool feedback from one of my boys, Wally. He is an absolute beast. We uh, were going back and forth on the custom, and uh, he seemed to like it just like me. And I'm pretty happy with it. What we did was we took the ringside exclusive edge head scan. I didn't really have anything else. I didn't have a Tyler Breeze. I didn't have any of that stuff. So if you guys are wondering why I use this, that is the reason why. I put a HBK Elite hair piece. We got the Elite 45 Seth Rollins crotch, upper legs, torso and shoulders, Ric Flair legs, Ric Flair thighs and knees. And then I took a UFC figure from Jax and replaced the lower legs with bare feet. And bam, you have a Matthew Riddle. I even got the mushroom tat on there. And yeah, guys, it's it pretty much works for a perfect Matt Riddle. I like the way it came out. It's nothing great or crazy over the top. But it works for Matt Riddle, and there is your surprise custom, guys. Matt Riddle. Who likes Matt Riddle? Who doesn't like Matt Riddle? Tell me in the comments. But I'm excited that the Brosif is here on MDT. So there's our first, first custom. The next custom that we have, guys, is Lars Sullivan. You guys saw this in the other day's video. We covered uh, how we made this, and it still looks pretty solid. I'm still happy about it. You know, it hasn't been featured in many videos. This is the second video it's been featured in. He hasn't been, you know, uh, it hasn't been a new episode of Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live, so he is on SmackDown Live now. So I guess we'll have to see what he gets into. I actually heard that his first feud is probably going to be Roman Reigns so that will be interesting to see but there is Lars Sullivan. If you guys missed the in-depth video on that guy, definitely go check that out on the channel. Next up guys, we have the current Extreme Champion, Kevin Owens. I love this figure. I love this fix up. Will he walk out of the MDT Royal Rumble with the Extreme Championship? Who freaking knows guys, but right here we have the t-shirt. I just love this. It's more of a fix up than a custom to be honest with you. It's the Elite 66. We put the smaller arms or maybe it's a, no, it's an Elite 53 Three, we put the smaller arms on there. It's got the custom Kevin F. and Owen shirt. It's got the black and red. You got the white outsoles. Just really cool, simple fix up. I love it a lot. And um, we're actually, I'm, I'm going to surprise you guys. Uh, probably not at the Rumble, but here soon, uh, we're going to be replacing the Extreme Championship. So uh, that will be unveiled by Eric Bischoff or somebody later down the line or something. But there is the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens. Next up, guys, we have another custom figure, and it is the AJ Styles fantasy attire that I made 
for AJ Styles when he went one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk. And he obviously came up short in that effort, but the attire was fresh nonetheless. It sold out. He's got the light blue, the white, the silver, and black. I love this figure, and a lot of my friends love this figure as well. That freaking Carolina blue with the white, black, and silver just contrasts so well, man. Jesus, I love this figure. Such a beautiful thing, man. I, I love this. Just looking at it over and over, I just love white, man. The white with the light blue is two of my favorite colors. Just beautiful stuff, man. Just look at the P1 logo. Just, just look at it. Next up, guys, we have another recent custom, and it is my WrestleMania 35 Demon Finn Balor. My boy, Finn Balor, looking beautiful with the Intercontinental Championship. You guys saw the video on this. If you missed the in-depth video on this, definitely go check that out as well. But we got the knee pads. You got the chest designs, the face. We got the back design on there. That epic demon on the back looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way that came out. Not perfect by any means, but I'm happy with it. Got the trunks designs on there. And that is your Demon King Finn Balor with the Intercontinental Top. I cannot wait to see where this man goes on SmackDown Live, guys. So refreshing. This week, we're going to see what his first week, you know, he was on there last week, but this is like his first week for storylines and stuff. So it's going to be nice to see how my boy Finn Balor does in the SmackDown Live era here. Next up, guys, we have a Aleister Black, or an Aleister Black, I should say, in the white attire, the NXT exclusive to Target, right there with the white trunks. You got that. You got some Elite 45 Rollins knee pads. You got some Elite 45 Rollins lower legs with some Shelton Benjamin kick pads, the black, gold, and white. And then on the back, of course, you have his logo, but with the white over there. Kind of hard to see with the vest, but I love this white. Um, again, I tried to throw some customs in there that I enjoyed or that were recent, so I wanted to throw in the all-white Aleister. Aleister Black. I can't wait to see uh, where Aleister Black goes on Monday Night Raw. I know he's still tag teaming with Ricochet, but uh, it's going to be cool to see. I want him to go along in singles, but you know it is what it is. Next up, guys, we have another custom, of course, and it is this Punisher Seth freaking Rollins. Punisher is my favorite Marvel character. If you guys didn't know, anybody that's a fan of MDT should know by now that uh, the Punisher is my favorite Marvel character. So I have two different uh, Punisher customs here. We have Jeff Hardy and we have Seth. Look at how epic these two look side by side. I freaking love this, man. The custom shirt over here, the all-black Hardy with the face paint from Punisher. Then you have the Punisher Rollins with the Punisher logo on the knee. Oh my god, this is just epic sauce. Two of my favorite customs in my entire collection. Comment down below which one you like better. Do you like the Hardy or do you like the Rollins? Just comment down below right now, guys. Tell me which one you love. Rollins or Hardy. I mean, they look so epic, man. Just side by side. The skull logo is so beautiful. It's just so beautiful to look at, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Moving on to the next custom. I apologize you had to see that. Oh, we on the last one? Oh, that's just bull. We should have ended it with the freaking Punisher, man. We're ending it with the big dog, and we're ending it with this Roman Reigns that literally got almost 6,000 likes on Instagram. So I guess the big dog is over here with the SmackDown Live best. Everybody seems to like that the big dog is over on SmackDown Live. I'm actually a fan of this. I can't wait to see where he goes from here. I just hope they don't push him to the moon. You know, maybe he'll get a good few going. Maybe Lars Sullivan would be a good start. I don't want him in the main event picture immediately. You know, they need to give him some time here, but the, the clean blueness, that game color goes on so cleanly, guys, with the, the game color ultramarine blue, I think is what it's called. It goes all the way around, 360 on him, and it looks great. I am very happy with the Roman Reigns, but that is it for my massive egg full of WWE custom figures, guys. I mean, we, we filled it up as much as I could. Uh, you guys saw that uh, if I would have filled it up anymore, we probably would have spilled out. I didn't want them to spill out. I wanted them to look good. I wanted them to look great, but I want to know down below what your favorite custom is. Are you happy with the Matt Riddle? That's another thing that I want to know down in the comment section below. I'm really excited for this Matt Riddle, guys. I wanted to do my own video on it, but I wanted to have an Easter video, and I really didn't have anything at the moment, so I wanted to, you know, come on here, give you guys an Easter video, and so I threw in a little theme, but also showed off the custom so it's a two-in-one. You know, we wanted to get the custom. We wanted to have the egg. And uh, I want to know down below not only what your Easter plans are, I want to know what which Punisher custom you like better, Seth Rollins or Jeff Hardy. And I want to know uh, what your favorite custom is out of the batch. And I want to know what you think of the Matt Riddle. So that's four questions you got to answer. Do you like the Matt Riddle? Which Punisher custom do you like more, Hardy or Rollins? What are you doing for Easter? And what do you... I, I forget the fourth question. F it. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Again, I hope you guys have a blessed Easter weekend. Celebrate with your family. Eat some good food. Open up your baskets. If you pick up some WWE figures from the, the Easter Bunny, let me know on Twitter or Instagram at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bro.